Hey everybody, Last Outrider here. Are you all back and excited for what were the original Tyranids Part 2? Excellent! Because <clears throat> let's get straight to it. Organization. High fleets are like huge mobile worlds comprising hundreds, sometimes thousands of ships of all shapes and sizes. The hive is ruled over by a hive tyrant. Tyranid society is similar to that of social insects, such as ants and termites, and the hive tyrant represents the hive in more than name. For all the tyranids of a hive are the children of the hive tyrant. Hive tyrants are hermaphrodites. Other tyranids are sterile. The death of a hive tyrant means the dispersion of the hive itself and the propagation of new hive tyrants from infant tyranids. Hive tyrants are always psychic with a mastery of four. Hugely bloated with eggs, the hive tyrant is largely immobile. The day-to-day -day affairs of the hive are conducted via a substrata of hive lords. Hive lords function as army and unit leaders in times of war, as ship commanders, sectional administrators, etc. Warrior units are based on fours, with a squad of three warriors and a leader. Tyranid armies always include a fair number of slave races, the most common of whom are the genetically engineered Zotes. Any Tyranid force must have at least half of its numbers made up by Zotes. Equipment Tyranid equipment is manufactured from biological components. However, it functions in the same way as mechanical equipment and is easily as effective. Functions performed by electrical or mechanical devices are replicated by their biological equivalents. Taking... I'm sorry, talking orifices or for communicators. It took me a little while to put that together. Uh, muscles for levers and etc. The equipment tends not to have hard edges or precise angles, but is not totally dissimilar in appearance to normal equipment. And simpler devices may look superficially the same. Armor of all types is worn, including powered armor, and the various field devices. Favored weapons are blasters, these having the unique ability to grow their own ammunition. Combat weapons are frequently carried in sheaths attached to a strap along the creature's side. <clears throat> a typical squad comprises of four individuals, including one leader, and usually one special weapon carrier. Clothing takes the form of a harness providing holster positions for various weapons. The basic weapon carried is a bolter. <laughs> yes, the basic weapon carried for the Tyranids originally was the bolter. Try to wrap your brain around that one. <clears throat> the special weapon in a heavy bolter. The officer also has a bolt pistol. <laughs> Uniforms. Tyranids do not usually wear clothing, although they may have a complex harness containing pockets and equipment pouches. Belts are often worn in a purely decorative mode and are carefully grown from cultured skin or fur. A unit usually has the same kind of armor, although where present forming a kind of uniformity, although officers may vary to some extent. 
<laughs> Weapon generation. This would have to go wait for me to get into the rules section of Rogue Trader, but um, you don't just assign, give weapons to your units. So, weapon generation. To randomly generate a squad of four Tyranids, first roll to determine how many special weapons it contains. Roll a d6 on a 1 to 2 of 0, on a 2 to 6, 1. The squad contains one leader, the number of special weapon troopers indicated, and warriors to a total of four. And then we're going to go on, but never mind. And and if you just, just to narrow it down for you, they, they had <laughs> Tyranid warriors were typically armed with swords and bolt pistols, plus possibly one of the following, an auto gun, a bolt gun, or possibly a shuriken catapult. Um... Tyranid, oh, they, they could also have a 25% chance of having grenades, which could be a uh, crack, frag, melt -a bomb or random, but not psych out or vortex. The Tyranid leaders uh, always had a bolt pistol, could have a sword. Other than that, they may have an auto pistol, a bolt pistol, a hand flamer, a las pistol, a needle pistol, a neuro disruptor, a plasma pistol, or a Weber. Mm-hmm. I bet that changes the idea of the game for you a little bit. This is why arguing about what the fluff is is totally insane to anybody who's played the game long enough, okay? Because I remember this. In fact, in the next video, I'm probably going to go get one of my Tyranid figures, which are the same as these guys. It's so funny when I put them on the table, because nobody knows what the fuck they are. Uh, most of the time, they, people assume that I'm playing a demon army of some sort. Uh, uh, but it's not. They're, they're the original Tyranids. Um... <laughs> Which is which is kind of fun. Well, original Tyranid warriors and, and things like that. And until I put down the original, uh, what they would call now the Hunter Screamer Carnifex, then people start, oh, I've seen that before. It's Nids. But, um, yep, yeah, these are the original Nids. And uh, let's see. Next time, I'm probably going to move on to what are Zotes? Since 50% of the army must be comprised of them. I'll see you then. Bye.